How's it going, everyone? Uh, <clears throat> I was just watching that ZZ Top documentary on Netflix the other day. God, that stuff is unbelievable. Those guys are incredible. <clears throat> I love that. Uh, oh, there's so much about those guys I love, but I love it when Billy Gibbons plays those... those uh, <laughs> Is like rub notes. I love that stuff. God, that's good. Um, I hope everyone's had a had a good weekend. I'm playing Jed in the Shed tonight. I couldn't do a Friday night, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get it rocking tonight. And um, <clears throat> eight o'clock, if you want to tune in. I'm working up a bunch of new songs to make a new record with Rodney Crow next spring. Super excited about it. Um, so I was just gonna talk a little bit about um, combining a couple of little bluegrass ideas into your, um, if you're playing in the key of G, it's kind of easier to do. But some things I've found myself playing that I stole from Tony Rice years ago that you can kind of work into your electric world a little bit. There's a classic Tony Rice lick. You know, based around that kind of thing. That um, if you work into like a studded kind of rhythm, like I was just playing. You can pick apart his solos and find all kinds of cool stuff in there that you can work into your electric playing. The two records in particular that I kind of wore out when I was in high school was um, Tony Rice Plays and Sings Bluegrass and um, um, actually the, the Church Street Blues record, which was just Tony and, um, and I think his brother maybe played on some of it. But, um, that's another one of those Billy Gibbons kind of things. <laughs> 
Anyway, you guys probably already know that stuff, but I was just thinking about it when I was watching that doco the other day. Um, <clears throat> thanks for all the comments this week and people going back and watching other episodes. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm kind of getting songs together to make this new record next spring with uh, with uh, Rodney Crow. So I've uh, sort of just been trying to work up these new songs in the show and um, uh, I love it when people send me a message and say which ones they like. So if you want to, if you hear something you like, thanks for, uh, thanks for letting me know. Um, let's see, what else? Going to Nashville for a couple days this week. Going to see my old mate Uncle Larry and catch up with a few other mates. Um, that's about it. I've had some questions about gear and all that. I gotta figure out how to show you what I'm running here. It's pretty simple, but it changes a lot too. That's why I get hesitant to kind of be like, oh, this is what I'm using. Because honestly, from week to week, I'm kind of changing things out all the time. But I got a pretty fun little rig going here. So maybe I'll talk about that Wednesday. Um, let's see. One thing I've really been getting into is using the uh, fuzz face. This creepy fingers fuzz face from my overdrive sound and turning the guitar up and down to get, get my blend of the grit, you know? This is a creepy fingers fuzz face. Anyway, that's about it. I hope everybody's good, and I'll see you uh, tonight if you tune in to Jed in the Shed.